Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of the Helix Max Skyhawk I 1331S, also known as Nighthawk 1331S. And what this is, as you can probably guess by the FPV screen here, this is an FPV uh, quadcopter, uh, toy grade. FPV uh, mini-sized quadcopter. Um, it includes a two megapixel camera on the front and um, SD card slot. It records directly to an SD card so you can make sure that you're getting two megapixel video instead of recorded via Wi-Fi or FPV. Um, the shape on this is very unusual. If you look at it, it kind of looks like a Predator drone, similar uh, to a Predator drone. Uh, mainly it's fuselage does. Um, other with uh, quadcopter propellers attached to it. So again, very unusual design. Uh, looking at its controller, you have an on-off switch for your screen. You can uh, you have headless mode and one key return, which acts which works with this quadcopter. Um, you can it does have altitude hold. I forgot to mention that altitude hold, and you can take off or uh, start it up in and. Uh, into idle by pressing the start stop button and then you tell it to climb or descend by pressing on the throttle switch and it has low and high speed rates by which you activate by pressing this button here um, also does flips which you activate by pressing this button here now all these other unlabeled buttons deal with the screen where you can adjust the brightness of the screen you can view videos that you record it by taking this SD card slot and sticking it into the side of the screen here and you can there's controls for view, viewing the videos that you recorded and also this is the most important button of all this is your record button for starting and stopping your video recording so that is it in a nutshell it uses a 750 milliamp per hour standard um, JST connector battery you should be able to find spare batteries for this easily uh, that's about it so let's go for a flight. One thing I forgot to mention, my screen was damaged in transit across the ocean. <laughs> so it was shattered. I'm still gonna fly. I can partially see the screen enough to operate the um, controls of the quadcopter, particularly its recording controls. So that's not a problem. So we're gonna go take off here, but others who receive a shattered screen, I, <laughs> I don't know. You have to deal with the uh, vendor to get a replacement uh, if you do have such an issue. It's not an issue for me. Okay, turning on the screen so I can see the record button. And I see we got video signal on the bottom portion here. The top portion of my screen is kind of blurred. I don't know if you can see that or not, and that's where the shatter occurred. And I'm hitting the record button now before takeoff. Okay, starting the motors and sending the quadcopter up. Again, it has altitude hold. I want to trim it up a bit too. Forward trim. Okay, we're trimmed now. Now, I flew this yesterday. It does not like wind, I'll tell you that. Even with, I took off the prop guards too. Wind is an issue with this quadcopter, so it's more of a less windy day flyer. It's a very smooth flyer by the way. But um, not for windy days. If you're if you got a lot of windy days, this does not like wind. Let's fly it around the pole. Not into the pole. I always hit these poles because my depth perception is terrible. <laughs> Let's go up even higher. Now I'm flying early in the morning and the reason I'm doing that is it's hot out here in the desert. It's summertime and we're going to get record heat I believe today. <laughs> so I want to get my videos in early in the morning. This is so steady. Let's see if I can get close to that pole without hitting it. Extremely steady flyer folks. But with that steadiness comes it's not a windy day flyer. <laughs> Let's see, I'll go to increasing the rates a bit. Okay, we're in high speed now, or high rate. Okay, let's bring it down so you can see this. Actually, let's, let's go down a bit. Now, I did a flyaway test already. It doesn't fly away. 
ranging this should be about 100 meters. Wow, how steady that is. It comes down slowly, by the way. Okay, let's bring it in close so you can see it. Come down a little bit more. About that altitude there. And there we are. Flying headless mode. Let's trim it back. I'm trying to get it where it's just hovering. There we go. A little more. There we go. Stable hover. Steve C for you. <laughs> if you're still out there. <laughs> I haven't seen any comments from him in a while. Okay, setting it back down. Okay, I want to hit the record button. Reason being, I want to make sure I got the video so far. And we'll get, I'm going to hit the record button one more time. And record some more for the right, remainder of the flight. First off, let's see if we can get 100. Oh, they turned on the sprinklers. I'm not going down there. Never mind. <laughs> sprinklers are on, so we're not going to test its range. Other than I'll, I'll get a visual estimate. Let's, let's see if I can get part of the way down. But I'm not going into the, uh, the goal because it's being sprinkled right now. But yeah, yeah, about 100 meters. We're out, we're out about that range. Coming back. Going up higher. Actually, this fly is nice and st stable. Uh, I can't, you know, I use the word stable a lot, but <laughs> that's what this one is. Smooth. I hope that video is coming out. Going up high. Climbing as I'm going forward. Okay, going to higher rate. And descending gently. Let's do a okay. It's wanting to descend. I'm giving it throttle, and and it's still descending a bit. Oh, wait a minute. Is it? No, it's still good. Let's go up a little higher. Right there and do let's see if it levels itself and then I'm gonna do a rotate rotating 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 showing the area and coming down and Turning off the video to make sure we got that. And flying the remainder of the flight low to the ground so you can see it. I don't know if you can see the screen or not, folks, but I can see it out here in the early morning sun. Again, the top portion is kind of grayed out, but you can kind of make it out because of the shattered screen. Oh, oh, there, I think we're at our, that's our flight time. Can I go back up? No, it wants to come down. So we're getting low, low on battery. Uh, I'm not going to fly it much longer here. I don't want to damage the battery. But very stable, huh? 13, can I take it up anymore? Doesn't want to go up any higher. No, it's, it's battery's done. We better land it. So that's the 1331S, folks. Hitting the button one more time just to make sure if it was recording <laughs> that I got the video. Interesting quadcopter. Uh, very interesting design. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This quadcopter 101. Getting the thumbnail. <laughs> Signing out.